Yo, what up? Stitches781 here. Hi. And thought I'd take a chance to show you my little, my little man cave, my bedroom. This is where I spend a lot of time in. There's my fucking Minecraft. This is awesome. Star Wars, the coin video experience. Yeah, if you haven't seen the commercial for this, this is the reason why I have this on my wall. Beyond the fact that I'm just a Star Wars fan. Have you seen Star Wars? Have you seen the Star Wars commercial for the Atari game back in the 80s? It was funny as hell. Like, the dude's head, like, literally explodes from him playing and he gets, it's so intense. And he ends up where he comes out and chicks like, some game. He's like, some game. And oh my god, it shit's so funny. You have to see it. And this is a picture my Uncle Paul drew for me when I was a kid. From 86. Back on October 31st of Halloween, he drew that for me. I got this. This is a cool painting of a kitty. Reminds me of my cat. I like that painting. My friend Skills and my girl did this. Skills did the graffiti. And Lexus, aka Clusterfuck, did the Creeper Girl. There's a cool ass bud poster I got from my girl for Christmas. My bud flag. My systems, Xbox 360 and the Wii, and I got my Blu-ray player. Yeah, so it's a nice little setup, really cool. I got all my comic books over here in the little bathroom section, you know. I got my own bathroom in my bedroom, that's cool. Yeah, I got uh, some really cool old posters here. Tales from the Crypt Keeper, Tales from the Crypt, Creep Show. I got my Tales from the, that is actually from a Tales from the Crypt pinball machine. I took that off of a pinball machine when I was in Vegas when I was drunk. And I ran up to my room with it. <laughs> no bullshit. I thought it was cool. Um, it was my Crypt Keeper toys from when I was a kid. The action figures and the one that talks. Patrick. All my little stoner bears. Gurr. Blue. Spongebob. There's me. And so, yeah. That's what I'm reading right now. It's Calvin and Hobbes. Love Calvin and Hobbes. Oh, yeah. And I got this in my room, too. No big deal, right? Just just a big hot tub. It's no big deal. It's cool, though. <laughs> and then here is some of my favorite superheroes. Wolverine. Spawn. The Hulk, Simpsons, Venom, and Futurama. I think that's about all I got to show you. Unless, you know, you want to see these little guys. There's a Gurr with a piggy. Pikachu and a creeper. My DS for at night. I got a little stand for it so I can watch TV on it at night instead of wasting electricity. Because I always fall asleep with the TV on. That's Speedy. I got him from my mom when I was a kid for Easter. He's actually from the Easter Bunny. But, yeah. I didn't know better. <laughs> SpongeBob pillow, because that thing's comfortable. And then, what do we got in here? This box that I sit on to play my games also has comic books in it. Old horror comic books. Oh yeah, you guys want to see some really cool horror comic books? Check this shit out. Look at these. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm a big Tales from the Crypt fan. In case you can't tell. A lot of these in here. And then all these. Mad magazines. Like, old... Old Mad Magazines. Oh, yeah, some old Spider-Man comic books that I got from the comic shop. 50 cents a pop. So mad. What's this? That's not mad. You don't belong in there. 
But yeah, I mean, I got Spy vs. Spy issues. I got a lot of old issues of Mad Magazine in here. Then I got some creepy magazines. I got at the comic shop while they were while I could before they went out. Got some old cracked comic books. I don't know if any of you remember Cracked. It was just like Mad, but the only ones I really liked were the Monster Editions. I love the old school monsters. Not the way it is now. All this fucking pussy ass vampires and shit. That's not monsters. Those, those are fucking garbage. I mean, really. Twilight? Come on. You ruined vampires for me forever. Walking Dead? I don't even like zombies anymore. And I used to draw zombies all the time. The fucking market is so oversaturated with this shit. And it's just... You ruined it. Like, you ruined it for me. I love the old shit, but I hate the new. Now I know how my parents felt. Like, now I know why parents are always like, Oh, you guys, this shit is so awful. It's like, it is. Like, when you're a kid growing up and your parents are bitching at you, it's because... They're right. Everything from their generation was great. Everything from our generation is turned to crap. And they watched it, and now I watch it with this generation. So, yeah, I guess I'm getting old, but fuck, man. I like the oldies, as you can tell. Atari, yeah. What's up with that? Atari. I love Atari. Make good games. Simple games, but fun games. Let's see. What's outside? What's outside? Look at the view from here. Look at the view, how beautiful this is. There's my back porch. Look at the view. Isn't that beautiful? I thought so. This is what I see on my window every day. So, yeah, that's about it. I mean, I don't have much else to say, but, uh, want to my closet? A cool walk in closet, too. Oh, yeah, Legos. Tons and tons of Legos. Lots and lots of Legos. All these boxes are filled with Legos. It's a lot. All these boxes are filled with comic books. All those boxes are filled with my old toys from a kid. Got a lot of shit. It's probably all worth something at one point or another. So, yeah, this is where I spend a lot of my time. Thank you for joining me. Be up with a game review probably later today. Probably a couple of them. Um, I've been doing pretty good on this. I like doing this. I'm having fun. I got a lot of fucking game reviews up so far within the past, just in this past couple days. So. Wait until the end of the month and we'll see how many I got going. <laughs> but until then, thank you for joining me. Stitcher781, peace out.